Today, I'm going to finish the back. Hello and welcome to this week's video, or should I say this two monthly video. Yeah, it's been a bit of a gap, sorry, uh, been busy, too busy working, going on school trips, surviving the end of term, doing live demos. Live demo coming up this weekend, a bit of a bonus one for me at the Chestnut Wood Turning Weekender. But I've also been asked to put some pieces in for a couple of charity auctions. So um, I'm getting some pieces ready for that. And yes, normally you're used to watching me colour the front. And there is a video on this one somewhere back in the dim and distant past. Um, not so uh, used to seeing me finishing the back of something. So uh, that's today's little video. And to do that, I'm going to be using the wonderful Chestnut Products Buffing Kit. Buffing Wheel Kit, here we go. Uh, it comes with three mops, three compounds and two mandrels. The mandrel that I'm using is already in the lathe, in a chuck, uh, and the wheels just screw on and screw off. So you can change them very easily. You can centre the mandrel as you're tightening, tightening it into your chuck um, by putting a live centre on here. So three of these um, eight inch mops, an A wheel, a B wheel and a C wheel and three compounds. Um, the first compound for uh, getting a finish on your wood uh, is a, this dark brown compound like Tripoli. You then switch to wheel B and you use that with the white compound uh, and finally with the kit you get some carnauba wax which you use with wheel c you can if you prefer get a stick of micro crystalline wax separately from the kit and use that as your third um, compound the other mandrel you get is one that you can hold in a drill chuck um, and the mops just screw into there. So they're all loose uh, mops, not stitched together, separate leaves, but when they spin 1500 maximum RPM, they'll bunch together and they will um, be much stiffer and improve the finish of your wood. And the reason I need to improve the finish of this wood is it did have a little bit of finish on, you can see it there, but it's got a bit worn off as it's been uh, shown around in, in various demos. So I'm going to bring that up to a lovely shine, I hope. Now, the other thing to bear in mind when you're buffing, you're still creating dust. You should protect your lungs. You should protect your face. You also, when you're working with um, a buffing wheel, um, you don't want, you want to hold your work here in that bottom third where you would do your your sanding there is a still a tendency as the mop turns to grab and send your work flying across so bear that in mind as well uh, I've just pulled the hood off my dust extractor I will have the dust extractor running as well just to remove any stray bits of cloth or dust that might fly around I'm going to get the tail the live center Oh, not the live center. Let me put it on a bigger picture and see what I'm doing. Getting the tool rest, uh, making sure that's right out of the way. And I've got room to stand here. Right, so I'm going to put the first compound on. First compound on. After I've put my uh, protection on. Now you don't need very much of this. Uh, let's get it spinning. That's plenty. So just work round the edge.
can see a bit of a sheen beginning to appear compared to here where it haven't buffed it yet. So that's the first compound pretty much done and you can see there's a shine there that wasn't there before but I need to keep working on that it's been shown at a few demos this this piece and it's got a little bit of damage on it uh, which possibly if it hadn't gone it's moved a little bit I might have put it back on the lathe and done a, a, a sanding job on it but I think I think it would take a little bit more work that's all just to, to tidy up that edge so let's get on with that. Time for the second wheel to go on. And the white compound. it an inspection looking at it across a low light just to make sure I haven't missed anywhere it's also getting a very lovely silky feel to it right so just take the wheel off very easy and very quickly done because of the, the bolt that each of the, ma the mops have in them Now this last compound, whether you use the Carnuba wax or the microcrystalline wax stick, doesn't matter, it's down to personal choice, you can use them interchangeably with this mop. But uh, this mop, this is the softest of the three mops. Um, let's see. So this is the softest of the three. So the material is a bit softer, less coarse than the others. And I'm going to go with the microcrystalline wax, but very sparingly. I can always come back and put more on. So although most people of course, I hope, are going to be interested in the front, it's still important to have a nice shiny back as well, nice and smooth to the touch and you can clearly see the shine that that's put on. Uh, just to sort out the signature properly again now. And uh, if you're interested in how to find out how to uh, bid for the things I'm putting into an auction I'll uh, I'll do a post about that as soon as I know 
Okay, uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Better just get a nice shine on the inside of the bowl as well. Lovely.